Good morning. My name is Megan. I'm going to be your nurse today. Can you tell me your name? Natalie. Thank you. Can you go ahead and tell me your date of birth? May 19th, 1996. Okay, thank you. Do you know where you're at right now? I'm in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Do you I don't know why you guys are keeping me here. Not sure why you're here though. Do you know what year it is? 2018. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And what did you have for breakfast today? Stupid bagel. It tastes like cardboard. Um, sorry about that. Um, do you know where you were born? Why are you asking me all these questions? We check our patient's mental status, so I'm asking you questions that jog your short-term and your long-term memory. It's a good question. I was born in San Diego. Thank you for answering that question for me. Natalie, I noticed that you're wearing your jacket and your hat right now. Notice your hood is on and you're not looking at me all the time while you're talking. Well, it's cold in here. <laughs> Good point. It's cold in here. I'm you're gonna... wearing a shirt. I don't know why you're asking me all these questions. Oh, I just have to ask a couple questions. I also noticed you're picking your fingernails right now a lot. Are you okay? Yeah, I just don't want to be talking to you. Okay, sounds good. Well, I only have a few more questions for you. Um, actually, I think that's it. Is there anything you need from me? Can you get me something that doesn't taste like cardboard? You got it, Natalie. I'll see you later. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and test your intellectual functioning now. So can you go ahead and repeat back these numbers to me? Eight four five seven one three five. Uh, eight four five. I can't remember the rest. Okay, thank you. Um, so can you tell me what this phrase means? The grass is greener on the other side. Um, I think it means that even when you have something good, you think that there's always something better. So it kind of leaves you like unhappy with what you have. Can you tell me how a pen and a pencil are alike? Uh, you can use both of them to write on a piece of paper. Okay, good. Um, now tell me, if you arrived home without a house key, do you know what you would do as an alternative? Um, I'd probably call my roommate and ask her what time she's getting home, and then I would just wait for her to let me in. Okay. Now I want to ask you a few questions about your thought contents. Are you experiencing any thoughts that are constantly occupying your mind right now? No, not really. Okay, that's good. Um, and are you do you ever experience thoughts of hopelessness, and worthlessness, or thoughts of hurting yourself? No. Have you ever seen or heard things that other people don't? No. Okay, very good. Hi Ari, how are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Okay. Well, um, Anything fun or interesting this holiday weekend that you're looking forward to? Mm, my parents are having a Super Bowl party. Okay. I guess you could say that's fun. Oh, that does sound like fun. Well, um, how's school coming along? It's going. It's kind of stressful. Okay. Um, anything specific about school that's stressing you out? Mm, just a little bit of everything. Okay, I'm going to check your ability to read and write now. So can you go ahead and read what this says for me? The quick brown fox jump over the lazy dog. Okay, good. And can you go ahead and write your name and date for me right here? Yeah. Mm. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Tim. Nice Hi. to meet you. So I heard you got a concussion. Yeah, it was like two weeks ago. How is it impacting your lifestyle right now? How is it affecting school, family? And so I get really bad headaches. And sometimes I just like quit studying because my headaches are so bad. Okay. And then sometimes I can't remember like all the details. So one time like I had class on Wednesday and I totally forgot to show up. So that was a bummer. So my grades are good. It's okay. Is it affecting you any, like, in any, any other ways, with like, like family, job? I mean, like, my family is really supportive of me right now, 
but I still feel bad because I'm forgetting stuff and sometimes I can't just like be with my family all the time because I have headaches and I just can't be a part of it. So I, it's like straining things, but they still are really supportive. So.